Oh, we're gonna do we're gonna do a Reddit advice show today. Oh well, that sounds quite lovely. Uh huh. What do you think about that, Vince? Amazing. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, Vincent's on board with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can send the bags of gold to my apartment. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. That was fancy producer. He wants to do advice today. So we're going to go to Reddit and look up questions and answer them to the best of our ability. Also, disclaimer, uh, my advice is not like ironclad. I'm just a person. Nope, it's going away, it's gone. Okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. I am 18. Just found out my birth father is 84. Nice. How, how do I react? Get to know him before he dies. <laughs> I mean, that's the real advice though. Um, I think about the same thing with my grandparents. My grandparents are in their 80s now. And so I think about like, hey, I need to, I want to spend quality time with them. Especially if it's an estranged situation. Like, oh, I don't know. I just found out my birth father is 84. Like, maybe play some bridge. Um, <laughs> play some spades. Learn some really old card games. <laughs> maybe go buy a soda pop at the soda fountain. And talking about World War One. Just kidding. World War One is definitely not the thing. If he's 84, it would have been World War. Not even World War Two. He would have been like a teenager in World War Two. So. See, I can do math in my head. Well played. Talk about the roaring... Talk about... <laughs> talk about rolling up cigarettes in your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> and greasing your hair back. And grease lightning. <laughs> Does he like grease? How do I get over someone who doesn't like me back? Dude, this is hard. Because we've all been there. When I was in high school, there was a girl I couldn't get over for five years and I kept like trying to come back to that idea that me and her could possibly be together when she like turned me down when we were like 13 and then she turned me down again when we were like 18 and then she turned me down again like later so it's like um the thing is like after a while I just have like now my advice is different it's like don't go don't drag yourself through the mud like that um I would say move uh, like, especially if you're in high school age or if you are a junior high age, what I would concentrate on more is just making friendships with people, opposite gender or otherwise. I'm, it's just because the thing is like, focus on building good, like relationships with people around you and not necessarily worrying as much about as like, does this person like me? Do they not? You're still coming into your own as like who you are. You're not yet fully developed as an adult and you're gonna learn a lot about yourself between the ages of like 18 and 25 about who you are, what kind of person you wanna be, what aspirations you have. And so it's like, you can't just like, um, I think that, they, that people say stuff like, oh, there's plenty of fish in the sea and it sounds really cliche. And, it, and, and to some extent it is, but at the same time it's like, Sometimes it's easy as humans to get fixated on a certain specific person and think, oh, they're the one, they're the one that like I'm supposed to be with. And Hollywood definitely doesn't help with like these ideas of soulmates and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily the kind of person who thinks, I think a soulmate is somebody that is your soulmate. If you're like, if you guys choose like, hey, yes, we're gonna be together. It's not something that like, some like thing where it's like uh there's only one person specifically and it's gonna be like um uh, love at first sight sort of thing how do i stop dribbling in my pants after i go pee <laughs> <laughs> so, gosh <laughs> let, me, let me read it a little bit more <laughs> okay what's this guy's specific issue or girl all right hold on <laughs> I am a 25 year old male and I will sometimes dribble a bit in my pants after I go pee. Whenever yeah. I go to the bathroom and even after I wipe 
myself. He wipes himself. <laughs> I will still get some dribble here and there. Here and there. Not only in one place. This happens every other time I go pee. Okay, so that's every other time. What? I usually put a paper towel in my underwear to prevent this from happening. Interesting. I have also not used a urinal in over three years wow. because of this issue. I'm wondering what are some alternatives to fixing dribbling? <laughs> Oh, I don't even know. I've never even experienced this. Or maybe... Oh. I would say... Dude, that's crazy. I think you just gotta shake a, shake a little more. Before you put it away. Yeah. It's like, it's like... It's like if you're, um... It's like if you're rinsing a plate before you put it in the dishwasher. Make sure that there's no food particles left on it. I don't know, man. Like, that's... That's interesting. I think he's too fixated on this. Putting paper towels in your pants, that's crazy stuff. That's like, might as well start wearing diapers. Where slash how do I find newly built apartment complexes? What? Next question. <laughs> how to cure cabin fever? Question? <laughs> <laughs> cabin fever, huh? Get out of the cabin is the obvious answer. <laughs> No, but what? read more of the question. What's... I've got no one to see, nothing to do, but uh, I want to cure my cabin fever. Mm. Otherwise, I won't be able to keep studying tonight. Mm. I have brain fog. Please help. It's raining outside, and it's 9 p.m. I'm old enough to go for a walk, but I'll be lonely. I <laughs> need a dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like they answered their own question. They just need a dog. You know, pets fix a lot of problems that people should be feeling. That's the real answer here. You gotta, you gotta take study breaks uh, with some friend break times. Hey, go, go call up Jamilza and see what she's up to. Hey, Jamilza, do you want? I have cabin fever. Do you want to go? Do you want to go to the mini golf and shoot some balls at the golf course? <laughs> I don't know what friends do these days. I don't have very many either. <laughs> no, but Jamilza is probably down to hang. Hang with Jamilza for an hour, and then, why do I keep coming up with these names? And then, after that, your cabin fever will dissipate a little bit, you can go back to studying for your exam, and you'll be good to go. No need to adopt a dog, but awesome. you could still adopt a dog later. How can I understand people have different values and mine are not superior? I grew up in Indonesia, so that really helps because it's like... Um, you realize that not everybody's values are coming from the same worldview. So if you think about it, everybody has a way that they were raised, different things that affected them like throughout growing up and like, uh, like a different family or friends, all of those things come together and impact somebody and they create their values. And so it's like when you're, stepping on somebody else's values even if they seem extraordinarily different from yours you have to understand you have to take a step back and think like okay a bunch of experiences memories interpersonal interactions with other people is what i'm trying to say uh came together to form that inform that person's value that they now hold i try and think about that anytime i'm interacting with somebody where our values are butting up really hard. It's like, okay, I need to take a step back and realize that even though I think my value system is the greatest and far superior, I can't just belittle this person or berate them, even if it's in my mind about their value system because they form came and formulated it somehow. And so it's it has value and maybe I could even try to put myself in their shoes in order to see maybe where they're coming from. And if you start doing that as an exercise, um, soon it becomes almost second nature. A lot of things today uh, where two people sit on very opposite sides because of where their values are coming from and it can really be something that is divisive. And so hopefully instead we can have um, more of a understanding and empathy towards other people. No. 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 
Okay. <laughs> it's not... Okay. What do you say to someone who is having a bad day? Um, usually I try and bring them, like, the favorite snacks. How to prevent cat from resting on my car? Ooh, I like this one. What you could do, what you could do is you could get one of those Knight Rider cars. Just upgrade, I'm sure they have them somewhere. Then he has flamethrowers on it. Nah, I'm just kidding. In real life, what you need to do, what don't cats like? Cats don't like lasers. <laughs> so, what you do is... Water? You go on Amazon. Cats don't like water. You can put a tray of... First, put a tray of water on top of your car. Like a water anti... But then, put a buoy in the middle of the water with a rotating laser. That's always going like this. What about when you drive? <laughs> no, this is only for when it's parked. So then, uh, and then the laser will distract all of the cats because it will be pointing out. See, you got yeah, picture. Close your eyes. Picture it in your mind. Rotating laser. Pew 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 pew. And then it's going out and it's shining. So the cats are running around your car, but that's way better than having them rest on your car. Plus, they'll never sit there because of the water. So. Cats aren't aquatic, except for tigers. Girlfriend, 25 female, called me, 25 male, ugly, while she was under anesthetic at the dentist. Aw, poor guy. He's probably thinking in his head, oh my goodness, in her heart of hearts, in her drugged anesthetic state, her true feelings about me came out. <laughs> Dude, she's on drugs, yo. You gotta be, like, take that with a grain of salt. Like, I... And you see those videos where they say the craziest stuff. I understand. Well, also, the sad truth is maybe that you aren't the best of lookers. <laughs> but uh, on top of that, doesn't mean that uh, you. That doesn't mean that you guys still can't have a healthy relationship. Not not every single relationship is like um, based on beauty alone. In fact, if it is, I would be terrified um, because. People get old and wrinkly, really, really wrinkly, and their skin gets all saggy, and no one stays beautiful forever. So, buddy, if you're out there, and for some reason you're watching this YouTube video, you're gonna be okay. Urgent. I'm stuck in a chicken coop. <laughs> That's it? They're just chugging this chicken in a chicken coop? Wait, how are they posting on Reddit if they're stuck in a chicken coop? Why didn't they just call the fire department? That's my first bit of advice. Also, are there eggs? I do like them. Please gather them while you're there. My German teacher just broke down after class because some kids were being exceptionally big poop heads. Oh no. My friends and I are trying to think of something to get her for Christmas to try mm. and make up for how crappy her year has been. Mm. Does anyone have any suggestions for what to get her? Aww. Yeah, you know what? Uh, this is coming from somebody who was a bully to teachers when I was a kid. Uh, we used to have this teacher, I won't name him by name, but he was like, he was in his 70s when he was teaching us, so he was like well into his retirement time, and uh, I was such a, like, I was putting whoopee cushions on his seat, and I was passing notes in class about him, like saying really mean things about him, and then one time he like caught him and read him, and I... Uh, later, after I graduated, I had to come back and I said, you know what, Mr. Blank, um, you were really, really patient and kind with me and I'm so sorry for the way that I acted and he was like so forgiving. Um, so this idea of a gift, I think is really good. I think um, th there isn't really like, I wouldn't go like the gift card route or something like that. That kind of stuff just kind of seems disingenuine to me. So I would try and figure out something that's personalized. Like, I don't know what kind of teacher it is. If it's like a, you know, like, if it's a history teacher, maybe get him, you know, Sacagawea statue. I don't know, something like, you know, like, something that's specific that they could put in their room that could remind them, like, hey, my students care about me. I have, there's some good eggs. You know what I mean? Because I think that's why teachers teach. Is, well, why good teachers teach it's because they do it because they do make a difference and being a teacher is incredibly hard because there's a lot of kids that are not appreciative or nice and are mean.
I'm at Denny's. Should I get breakfast for dinner, a burger, or spaghetti and meatballs? I always go with breakfast. Always breakfast at Denny's. And then I get the refillable coffee. And then I just drink way too much coffee. You get hyped up on caffeine. <laughs> Where you say, hey, we're doing an advice video. Is that that? Was that that? That's just going to go straight that from the song to what you just did? All right, that's that. <laughs>